The home fitness market in 2020 has really been thriving as quite a few of us seek convenient cardio solutions that we love that also don't break the bank. I know on my channel, I have been predominantly talking about indoor cycling bikes as our footprint tends to be quite small on average of four feet by two feet and they can be purchased for as little as $150 on Amazon. But we mustn't forget the most original form of cardio, which includes walking slash jogging slash running. In the past, most treadmills tended to be quite pricey, bulky, loud, and obtrusive if you don't have the luxury of a separate workout room, which let's be honest, how many of us have a separate workout room? So if you're looking for an affordable, compact, relatively lightweight treadmill that can be stored underneath a bed or a couch when not in use, please keep watching. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. This treadmill originally retails on Amazon for $359, but there is a $60 off coupon code, bringing the total to $299. This treadmill has an easy folding mechanism and a soft drop design. When folded, its dimensions are 55.2 inches by 27.8 inches by 5.1 inches in height. So for example, if you're planning to store it underneath a couch or a bed, you just have to make sure the clearance from the floor to the top of the bed is at least 5.1 inches. This treadmill weighs 75 pounds. It has a 2.5 peak horsepower motor, providing speeds from one to 12 kilometers per hour. It also supports weight up to 260 pounds. It has a 16.5 inch wide anti-slip belt, and it also has 12 preset training programs. The LCD screen displays time, distance, speed, and calories burned. It also includes six non-slip mat pieces for the leveling feet. This treadmill was first available on Amazon on September 7th, 2020, and is currently ranked as number 26 in treadmills. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience with this treadmill. The first thing to note is you must have the magnetic safety strip in place or else the treadmill won't turn on. Initially when I set my treadmill up, I figured I wouldn't need the magnetic safety strip because usually I don't plug those onto my clothes anyways when I'm jogging. But as I mentioned before, the treadmill won't run until it's in place. The next point might be kind of obvious, but there are no incline functions on this treadmill, but I found that you can still break a decent sweat with a jog. The platform tray isn't the most sturdy. In other words, I won't be putting my laptop on it anytime soon, but it does have an included phone holder function, which is great for streaming workouts on your phone. I've streamed a few Peloton running workout videos on my phone while using the treadmill, and while you can't adjust the incline to match the instructors, you can still somewhat match your speed to their recommendations, and I find that I still get a better workout following one of those videos versus just trying to motivate myself. Now, since this treadmill is compact and only 27.8 inches in length, it may be a little bit awkward for a taller person if they're running. I'm 5'4", and I find the size to be perfect for me and my stride length. And for a quick note, I did Google what's the average stride length for someone who's 5'4", and what I found is that the average stride length for someone who's 5'4", is 2.2 feet or 27 inches. So I just finished my first workout using this treadmill. It arrived in the mail yesterday and we set it up and I wanted to test it out today. This is my first time testing it out. I did a quick 20 minute workout and did a total of two miles. I just used the Peloton app on my phone. The class I took was with Andy Spear and I just set my phone right here on this little ledge. At first I was a bit skeptical on how it would hold up when running on it and luckily it was fine. Of course it doesn't have any sort of incline but it's fine if you want just like a flat easy road. And one thing I like is that the Peloton app also syncs to my Apple Watch so it is able to track those workouts and those runs on it. Now I'm gonna go over a few pros and cons on this treadmill. The first pro I have is that the price seems quite affordable for a cardio machine that suits a variety of fitness levels. For example, for those new to starting a fitness routine, you can easily start with walking and build up to light jogs. 
The second pro I have is regards to its size. The compact size is convenient, especially if you don't have the luxury of a separate workout room. For example, I have my Peloton bike as well as my treadmill in the master bedroom. The next pro I have is that this treadmill is relatively quiet. It's not as silent as a Peloton, for example, but it's not as loud as, say, a rowing machine. Another pro I have is that this treadmill can be tucked away when not in use or if you kind of fall off the bandwagon of your workout routine, which let's be real and based on my personal experience, some of us are not as consistent on our workout routines as we intend to be. So one pro to that is that you can just tuck it away and it won't sit out and guilt trip you every time you walk by it or become an infamous clothes hanger. The last pro I have is that this treadmill is light enough for two people to move it together. There are two wheels on the front end, so say if you're just moving it from one room to the next, you can easily just tilt it over and maneuver it. Also, since my treadmill is on the second story of my home, it wasn't too much of a hassle to bring it up the stairs with two people carrying either end. Just think if you were trying to maneuver one of those commercial treadmills that you see at the gym, that would be a whole nother story. Now I'm gonna go over a few cons for this treadmill. The first con I have is that if this treadmill is going to be part of your daily fitness routine, you may want to invest in something that's a little bit more heavy duty or something that has an incline function. I intend to wait until Peloton releases their new treadmill model with an estimated release date sometime in 2021. The next con is that the tray table isn't the most sturdy, so say if you're really breaking a sweat and want something to heavily lean on, or if you forget that it isn't the most sturdy, you don't want it to bend and snap forward. And the last con I have is that the safety strap feels quite flimsy, but it does do the job. And as I mentioned before, the magnetic strip does need to be matched onto the treadmill in order for it to turn on. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on this treadmill? Do you think it's a great affordable compact option or would you prefer to invest in something that's a little bit more heavy duty or something that does have an included screen? Also, for those Peloton customers, would you consider investing in the Peloton tread or would you choose a different brand? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.